So there's no question that you can become vitamin D intoxicated by taking supplements. But just for your listeners to know is that we did study with Bob Heaney many, many years ago and showed that when we gave healthy adults for five months, 10,000 units of vitamin D a day, that they did not have any untoward toxicity. We did a study with the group up in Canada um, and showed that taking up to 20,000 units a day, some Canadians, blood levels in the range of 60 to 80 nanograms per ml, there was no toxicity. And we did recently a, a, another study uh, looking at immune effects. And we looked at 600, 4,000, and 10,000 units a day for a period of six months. And again, showed uh, 10,000 units a day, no toxicity, no elevated calcium, and their 25-hydroxy D was in the range of about 70 to 90 nanograms per ml. And so um, you can become toxic if you're now taking hundreds of thousands of units of vitamin D daily, and not for a day or two, but we're talking about for months to years. And we had reported a couple of studies, one of which was um, a uh, company had forgotten to dilute their vitamin D. And we found that this poor person was taking over a million units a day for a year and he became toxic. So why don't you become toxic when you're exposed to sunlight? And again, mother nature is really clever. And so when you're exposed to sunlight, you're making pre-vitamin D, which then converts to vitamin D, which is slowly entering into your bloodstream but also it's now being exposed to sunlight and to ultraviolet B and ultraviolet A radiation. And by doing so, pre-vitamin D gets converted to levosterol and tachysterol. Vitamin D gets uh, incorporated and uh, is absorbing that ultraviolet radiation and is converted to 5,6 trans, supersterols. And so we think that all of these different photoproducts are being made and no longer are you making vitamin D. So you only make about, we showed many years ago, if you expose human skin constantly, you can only convert about maximum 15% of the pro-vitamin D ultimately to vitamin D. So as a result, mother nature designed us that even if you were crazy enough to go outside for the entire day, you will not become toxic because you just continue, you, sunlight will destroy any excess. And I'm always asked this question, which is during the summertime, should I stop taking my supplement? Um, and I tell my patients, no, and I don't either. And so even though I get sensible sunlight, I will definitely continue. I take 6,000 units of vitamin D every day. And my blood levels in a range of 70 to 80 nanograms per ml. And so when you're exposed to sunlight, it's not cholesterol, right? It's the precursor of cholesterol. 7-D hydrocholesterol. You have so much of it in your skin. And we showed many years ago that if you use up one or two, 5% of it total, you're lucky. And, the, and, your, and your body's constantly resupplying it because it needs to make cholesterol and it's the precursor. So you never have to worry about depleting 7 hydrocholesterol levels. And the amount that you're making, like I said, if you're out there for 10 or 15 minutes or a half an hour, you will efficiently make vitamin D. But if you're out there for two hours, that vitamin D that you made is now being destroyed before it ever enters into the bloodstream. So you could never become toxic. 